In this uh, lecture, we are going to look at uh, uh, two table queries, uh, meaning uh, that you want to extract information from more than one table. And we are going to use the same uh, department projects uh, technicians tables here. For now, we won't deal with department. And uh, so, whenever you have a query involving this um, set of tables or any set of multiple tables, you first have to decide, um, look at your question and decide whether it's a one table query or a two table query. Simply because you are dealing with multiple tables, uh, not all to all queries or multiple table queries. For example, if I ask you, um, looking at the projects table here, if I ask you, um, what is the, give me a listing of all the project name and project costs uh, for uh, projects that exceed a value of um, 250,000, then that's a query just that involves the project table. Um, if I ask you even, um, give me the project name, project cost, and technician number for those projects that exceed that exceed the 250,000 uh, project cost, there is still a single table query because technician number is available in the project itself as a, as a foreign key. On the other hand, if I ask you, um, give me all the projects uh, that are in department S1 or S2, their project name and project cost, that will be a two table query because to get to the department, you have to go to the technician table and, and uh, then the project name and project cost are in this table. So that's a two table query. Uh, let's address this query first. Okay, So we want to know all the projects, their name and project cost for those projects that are in department S1 or S2. Okay. So this is what I would do in that case. I am selecting, I know, selecting something, you know, let's not worry about what we are selecting now, some a few columns and I have already determined these columns are coming from um, technicians T comma projects P. Okay. So because I know that this particular query I have in mind involves two tables. I immediately type in those tables and I type the tables in along with that table alias. Table alias uh, is a shortcut for uh, the name of the table. Just to be consistent, I'm changing the case here. The, the technician table is going to be called T. The projects table is going to be called P. And because it's a two table query, I immediately say T dot tech number is equal to P dot tech number. This is what is known as a common column join. Okay. I will explain this and uh, please try to follow closely. So if I if I am looking at this row here, Thomas uh, in department S1. I should go only to Thomas. Okay, these are the two rows here that deal with Thomas. These other rows don't deal with Thomas. So when I am considering Thomas, those are the two projects involved. Then will I do S2 King? Yeah, I will consider King because King is in department S2 and um, that technician's number is 11, 
that deals with only this project, not the other projects. So whenever you are combining information, you should combine only those rows where you have a match on the technician number, as in this case. Okay, so that's what we were doing. If you do not do that, I will explain the consequences uh, shortly. Okay. So select. Now I have to say t dot tech number, comma p dot proj name, comma p dot proj cost. Okay. So you can see I have created a table alias and I have used the table prefix, the alias prefix for every column. That's the proper way to do it. Now I execute this query. Um, we have an error. T dot tech num. Okay. From technicians projects, we have to say where, right? where t dot tech number is equal to p dot tech number and you have you have it okay um, as you can see project um, okay we have each uh, department and if you want the name of the department also you can include t dot uh, department number because that's in the technician table. Okay, so this is every department and every project, and I can also add other conditions here. If I wanted only the departments S1 and S2, I would say where uh, T dot department number in um, S1 comma S2. So I have excluded the project that are S3 in department S3. Okay, so this is my result. This is a requirement that I want you to clearly understand. Whenever you are dealing with more than one table, you must have this common column join. Okay, if you don't put the column common here, the result will, the SQL statement will appear to work, but it will fetch unintended rows as a result, and your result would be wrong because it would match up projects and technicians even though the technician numbers don't match and that's not the right thing to do. So if you don't have any other condition, if you just say, let's say you execute these two rows, okay? I'm highlighting those two rows and executing, watch now. So totally I have 99 rows, understand why that is so. I have forgotten or <laughs> just to il for illustration purposes, I have intentionally omitted the where clause that is a common column join. So it is taking nine rows in the technician's table and 11 rows in the project's table and combine each technician with every project even though that technician is not managing that project. So you have nine times 11, 99 rows and there is no error but that's not the right result. You must be careful to do the common column join whenever you have uh, multiple tables. Okay, that's the uh, important point that you need to, this remember when you are doing a join, this is called a join, we are joining two tables and this type of join is a inner join. Inner join meaning uh, if you, Look at this uh, diagram here. I have projects, technicians, and I have projects uh, in the left hand side. I have projects that do not 
um, have a technician assigned and I have technicians who do not have a project assigned. I don't care about those. Those are different types of join. I want only those where uh, projects have technicians assigned and technicians have projects assigned. So that's the inner join. And this type of join is a old style join. This is uh, um, has been in existence in SQL for a long time. And ANSI, American National Standards Institute 89 and 92 standard offers different syntaxes for join. So we will look at those syntaxes as well because you are likely to encounter them. Um, So this is the second syntax. Um, in Impala SQL, you can use the word join. Join also means inner join. You can use either one. You will get the same result. Um, as I told you, there are different types of join which we will look at in a different lecture. Right now, we are just um, looking at inner join or um, just a join. Um, so when I execute this, okay. Again, I get the same result, and I can use a and uh, you know a department in S one or S two. I can do that, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. So it gives me the nine technicians. You know, it's not omitting any technician or any department. Even S three is you can see S three is there. So just the join part, you can use this syntax, and if you want to use T department in, you can say and T department in. Okay. Now there is a third syntax. So here is the third syntax. Here we are using the using class. The using class, um, as you can see, um, we are selecting the same columns and the from is technicians inner join P, but instead of saying on T tech number equals P tech number, now we are saying using tech number and you will observe that there is no um, table alias here because tech number is the common column in both the tables um, and that is what we are using to join. Um, so this achieves all the three different syntaxes achieve the same result, uh, but this is just a different way of doing. And you will note one thing: uh, for this, these two syntaxes will work in under all circumstances, but this will work only when you have the common column uh, with the same name. So if you call in the project table tech number and in the technician stable tech num or something, then this syntax is ruled out. You have to have the same name. Um, so that's about inner join. You use inner join when you want to find the intersection um, of uh, two tables and you will join using common column. And if you replace instead of the word inner join, if you simply say join, you will get the same result. 